Weather, Climate and Adaptations Weather describes the conditions of atmosphere at a given location for a short period of time. It is influenced by temperature, precipitation, moisture from the sky, humidity, wind, etc. All these factors influence weather on day-to-day -day basis. These are called elements of weather. News channels and newspapers forecast the weather changes on day-to-day -day or weekly basis. The weather report is collected by Meteorological Department of Government on the basis of rainfall, wind speed, humidity and sunshine. If you notice a week's day-to-day -day weather, you will hardly find it same. There is noticeable variation in temperature, humidity, wind pattern, etc. over the week's period. It may be sunny day in the morning and may change to cloudy afternoon, which may turn into heavy rain within an hour. Sometimes the situation can be reversed. The heavy rain stops suddenly and the sun shines brightly in the sky. You can even enjoy seeing a rainbow during this immediate shift of weather. Thus, we can say that the day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere of a place with respect to the temperature, humidity, rainfall and wind speed etc. is called weather of that place. Weather is a very complex phenomenon which changes within a very short period of time. Elements of weather The different elements of weather such as temperature, humidity, rainfall, wind, etc. The weather is made up of these different elements which are measured either by special instruments or are observed by a meteorologist. These measurements are then recorded and used in the making of climate graphs and weather forecasts. Temperature Temperature is one of the main elements of the weather. It changes over 24 hours. Early in the morning it is moderate while during afternoon it rises. This is due to the heating of Earth's surface by the sunshine. Temperature of a place is measured by a special thermometer. This is called maximum and minimum thermometer. The unit of temperature is degree Temperature varies greatly throughout the Earth. This is because of the unequal amount of heat received from the Sun on the Earth's surface and movements of air. Areas near the equator receive the largest amount of heat and polar regions very less. Precipitation The precipitation means bringing water from the atmosphere to the surface of the Earth. There are different forms of precipitations. These are rain, snow, hail, dew and fog. Rain is measured in inches or millimetres in a rain gauge. In our country, rain mainly depends on monsoon. The southwest monsoon, June to September, brings heavy rain to many parts of the country. The northwest monsoon, November to March, brings light rains. Winds There are two factors of wind which influence weather. One is wind speed and another is wind direction. Wind speed tells about how fast the wind is blowing. It can be measured by an anemometer or by the Beaufort scale. The wind direction indicates that where the wind is blowing, it is measured by a wind vane or the points of the compass, north, northwest, etc. In our country, winds blow from hot and dry regions like deserts of Rajasthan, increasing the temperature of the air. This causes warm and dry conditions in summer. Winds that blow from high mountains like Himalayas are cold and dry in nature. Humidity Moisture or humidity is the amount of water vapour in the air. It is measured by a hygrometer. The more humidity in air leads to more chances of rain. Clouds are formed when water vapour condenses high above the ground. When cloud droplets grow larger and become too heavy to be held up by the air, they fall to the ground in the form of rain. Pressure Pressure is the weight of the air pushing on the surface of the earth. It is measured by barometer. It varies on the Earth's surface. The changes in the heating and cooling of land and water can cause air pressure to change. These changes in air pressure create winds. Pressure decreases rapidly with altitude. Climate We have read that the weather is a change in the atmospheric condition for a very short period of time. Example, a day or week's time. 
climate is the characteristic weather that indicates atmospheric condition from season to season and year to year. The average weather pattern taken over a long time, say for 25 years, is called the climate of a particular region. There are lots of factors that influence the climate of the earth. Factors affecting climate The climate of an area is influenced by several factors. Some of these factors and how they influence the climate of a particular region are Climate becomes colder as the altitude, distance from the sea increases. Altitude is the height of a place above sea level. As height of a place increases, air becomes thinner and not able to absorb and retain heat. This is the reason that hilly areas are colder than plains. Most of the high mountains remain snow-clad due to very less temperature throughout the year. Latitude The location of a place is determined by its angle of latitude. Distance from the equator As the earth circles the sun, the tilt of its axis causes changes in the angle by which sun's rays fall on the earth. This causes change in the daylight hours and regions become colder and colder with the increasing latitude. This is the reason places near the equators are hot and colder near the poles. Our country is situated roughly between 8 degrees north and 37 degrees latitude. Winds The position of a town, city or place and its distance from mountains and water bodies help determine its prevailing wind patterns. Coastal areas may enjoy refreshing breezes in summer when cooler ocean air moves ashore. In our country, the hot air blows from desert areas of Rajasthan and cause hot and dry conditions of summer. These areas receive very less rainfall. This is the typical desert climate. In the same way, cold air blows from snow-clad mountains towards the plain areas and make the winter conditions. Surface of the Earth The important factor which has a great influence on climate is the surface of the Earth. The amount of sunlight that is absorbed or reflected by the surface determines how much heating occurs of that place. The areas which have more plants and trees are good absorbers of sunlight. The lighter areas such as snow and ice-covered mountains are good reflectors of heat caused by sun rays. The ocean absorbs and loses heat more slowly than land. Here, we can say that the energy absorbed and reflected by the Earth's surface, oceans and the atmosphere play important roles in determining the climate of that place. Humidity The amount of moisture in air is the humidity of a particular place. It plays major role in determining climate of a region. A drier place will have less humidity. The coastal areas have high humidity. Humidity of a place increases during rainy season. Adaptations in animals Climate of a region affects all living organisms of that region. Due to this, different animals have different adaptations to survive and live comfortably in their habitats. They adopt themselves to survive in extreme cold, heat and moist conditions. Polar regions Polar regions are very cold, snow-covered and windy throughout the year. The North Polar region is called Arctic, while the South Pole region is called Antarctic. In these regions, the sun does not rise for six months and does not set for another six months. The winter temperature may fall up to minus 37 degrees Celsius. The animals which live in polar regions are polar bear, penguins, Arctic terns, Arctic hares, musk oxen, seals, snowy owls, humpback whales and white foxes. Some birds of polar regions migrate to warmer places to avoid harsh winter. Some of them come to India. For example, Siberian crane, a migratory bird, comes to Bharatpur and Sultanpur bird sanctuary in winter and returns back to Siberia where winter is past. Arctic terns Their thick feathers keep them warm in cold climate and eat different animals like fish. In the summer, these birds can eat enough to grow twice their size. Arctic hares Their fur changes color. It is white in the winter but can change to a blue-gray or brown color in the summer. 
They have very big feet to help them move quickly across the snow and strong claws to dig for food. Penguins. They are birds that cannot fly but can swim. Their wings are shaped like flippers on a fish. That is why it is easy for them to swim and not fly. Penguins eat fish and can hold their breath underwater for about 18 minutes. Musk oxen. They have a stinky and musky smell. Their long, thick hair helps keep them warm in the cold climate. Polar bears. The white color of their fur makes it easy for the heat from the sun to stay trapped close to their bodies, keeping them warm in cold climate. They are good swimmers and eat big blueberry animals like seals. Snowy owls. The fluffy feathers cover their whole body to help keep them warm in cold climate. They eat mice and fish. Humpback whales. These whales do not live in Antarctica all the time, but they come there to find food. They eat fish, squid and other sea animals. White foxes. They have special padded feet that give them grip to walk on snow. They wrap their large bushy tail around themselves like a blanket to keep them warm in cold climate. Seals. They have thick deposition of fat called blubber. It protects them from cold. Adaptations in Polar Bear Polar bears live along the frozen shores of the Arctic Ocean, Greenland and Canada. Polar bears adapt themselves in their habitat by They have two thick layers of white fur and a lot of fat in their body to keep them warm. The white fur blends with snowy background and protects them from enemies. Their claws are curved inwards to help in digging the ice. The large feet allow disturbing its body weight while walking on snow or thin ice and help to swim in water. They can swim underwater for long hours by closing their nostrils. Polar bears have a very strong sense of smell which helps them to locate and catch their prey. Their sharp teeth help them in hunting. Female polar bears dig dens in the snow where they hibernate to give birth to their babies. Hibernation is the process of remaining inactive during winter to avoid extreme cold conditions. Adaptations in Penguins Penguins are another common animal living in the Antarctica region. These are aquatic, flightless birds. They have special features to survive in severe cold conditions of polar regions. Penguins also have white fur which merges well with the white background. Their skin is thick and a lot of fat to protect from cold. Penguins live in large communities. This helps to keep them warm. They make their nests side by side and after the chicks are born, they all huddle together to stay warm. Penguin feathers are extremely densely packed with no gaps between them. This gives them good protection against cold. They can control the flow of blood through the fat. When it is very cold, Almost no blood passes through the fat. When they are warm, the blood flows increases so that they can cool off. Penguins slide on the slow or walk in a peculiar manner, swinging from side to side. It helps in conserving energy. They have strong sense of vision, particularly underwater, to locate the prey and avoid enemies. Penguins are also adapted to drink salt water. Deserts High temperatures and scarcity of water makes life very difficult in the desert. Adaptations in desert animals to acquire and retain water and to regulate body temperatures helps them to survive in the harsh conditions of the desert. The animals of desert area are camels, fennel fox, jackal, rattlesnake, lizards, spiders, scorpions, etc. Various characteristic features that help desert animals to adapt in hot conditions are To avoid heat, many desert animals live in burrows to escape the intense desert heat. They come out from their burrows during the early morning or in the evening. Some of them like snakes, foxes and most rats are nocturnal. They sleep during the daytime in their burrows or dens and hunt only during the night when the temperature is low. Certain animals, like the round-tailed ground squirrel, slow down the daily activities to conserve water and energy when the days become very hot. To dissipate heat, 
desert animals need to maintain their body temperatures. For this reason, some of them have developed long body parts that provide greater body surface to release heat. For example, jack rabbits and fennec fox have large ears through which excess heat can be easily lost. Most desert animals are pale in color. This prevents their bodies from absorbing more heat from the sun. To absorb water In deserts where water is scarce, certain insects depend upon nectar from flowers and sap from stems to get water. Kangaroo rats can manufacture water by the digestion of dry seeds. Many animals, like rodents, can filter the moisture out of their exhaled breath through specialized organs in their nasal cavities to preserve water. The hump of the camel has fatty tissue. When this fatty tissue is used, it produces both energy as well as water. Desert animals like reptiles can reduce loss of water by excreting waste in the form of a whitish solid called uric acid. This adaptation ensures very little wastage of water. Many scavengers, animals which eat dead animals, have evolved ways of extracting water from the food they eat. Animals like Gila monsters are known to store water in the fatty tissues in their tails and other parts of the body. Tropical Rainforests The temperature in a rainforest rarely gets higher than 34 degrees Celsius or drops below 20 degrees Celsius. Average humidity is between 77 and 88 percent and rainfall is often more than 100 inches a year. There occurs sufficient rainfall Almost all rainforests lie near the equator. Days and nights are almost equal throughout the year. There is shade from the heat and shelter from the rain. There is no shortage of water. Due to these ideal conditions of living, about half of the world's animal species live in tropical rainforests. Because there are so many animals living in the rainforest, there is a great deal of competition for food, sunlight and space. Animals have developed special features in order to survive. This is called adaptation. The common animals living in rainforests are monkeys, apes, lions, tigers, gorillas, elephants, leopards, lizards, snakes, birds and insects, etc. The characteristic features of animals living in rainforests are some animals are adapted to eating a specific plant or animal that few others eat. For example, parrots and toucans eat nuts and developed big strong beaks to crack open the tough shells of nuts. Their long beaks also help them to get food easily between the branches of trees. Toucans can lose up to 60% of their body heat through their beak. Insects make up the largest single group of animals that live in tropical forests. They include brightly colored butterflies, mosquitoes, stick insects and huge colonies of ants. Stick insect uses camouflaging to blend itself with the branch of the tree. There are some butterflies whose wings look like leaves. Some animals are poisonous and use bright colors to warn their enemies to leave them alone. For example, brightly colored poison arrow frogs. Monkeys and apes of tropical forests have long tails and arms to move through the branches of trees safely. Their long arms swing through the trees, avoiding ground enemies. The lion-tailed macaw, beard ape, lives in the rainforests of Western Ghats. Its most unique feature is the silver-white mane which surrounds the head from cheeks down to its chin. It spends major time in trees. Jaguars move silently and rapidly and climb trees to catch their animal food. The South American jaguar has developed the ability to swim well in its wet rainforest home. This adaptation helps jaguar to find fish, turtles as its food in the rivers and streams. Elephants are well adapted to rainforest habitats. They have a long trunk which is used for picking food. The strong tusks are used to tear bark of the tree for eating. Their large ears help them to release heat and work like a fan. Chameleon is very common in rainforest habitats. It has a long tail, large eyes which can move in all directions. 
its tongue is large, sticky and rolled up as a tape inside the mouth. One unique quality of chameleon is that it can change its color similar to that of the background to hide itself. It shoots out its tongue at once to catch its food and then rolls it back into the mouth.